Hi, and welcome to a new game called the Our Dark Purpose. Probably the very first roguelite featured on the channel. So... It, uh, let's... Uh, I, I guess we will start with the lore. First. With uh, The Awakening, Chapter 1. So there are multiple chapters which... Um, we haven't completed yet. But this is what we have done so far. So The Awakening. Elderly, Mr. L trusted three of his students most. Right? Regan was pretty and all did, all did as she told. For they sought her favor. Conorel was strong and all did as she told. For they feared her power. The third, Cordy, was so shy that no one had ever heard her say a word. One day before Gordy's ninth birthday, Mr. L was summoned to the administrator's office. He left the tree in control of the room. The charismatic children ran to Regan, the athletic to Conoral, and the remainder drifted to Cordy. Regan's followers cackled as they choked and danced. Conoral is grunted as they sparred. And the quiet ones huddled closer to the corner, and Mr. L never came back. And Cordy saw Connor and Regan signal each other. And then all the beautiful and powerful children attacked the quiet ones. The bookcases were pulled down, and the desks tossed around, tossed about, and all the quiet children killed. The victors poured out, out into the hallways, delighted, for the teachers had vanished and the school was theirs. Except, hidden beneath a fallen bookcase, Cordy was alive, and she had discovered how to speak. So that's basically the premise of this game. You play as Cordy. And you are trying to climb the tower, or the school, floors. You can gain up upgrades. There's only one here right now. I'm not sure why I can't show it. Now I can. Whispers, a survey course analyzing whispers, whispered secrets, answers, suggestions, and threats. Not all participants will be human or corporeal. Cross-listed as introductory rhetoric for serpents. Gain up to 20% extra crit chance when near an enemy. You can also... I'm not sure what this does yet. Uh, but you can basically uh, use put credits here. I won't do that uh, just yet. Here are all the items you have found throughout the game. And... I've only been played this game seven times. Basically. Plus clear twelve. So let's uh, start, shall we? The waking floors. Elder limbs. Yeah, yeah. What an odd story, then squiggly and uh, badly, I'm sure. So let's start out. I guess a lot of people have... Um, have... Um, compared this game to The Binding of Isaac. Because it has the same kind of combat, or similar combat even. Uh, they, but it, al uh, it also ha features leveling up and such. And the rooms are also greatest fear. Take your time. It's not termite termites or fire or axes or anything like that. Okay. My greatest fear is probably getting pulled apart by giant plants. That seems unlikely. I don't know, this is a weird place. I like these little cutscenes. Or dialogues. But yeah, a lot of people compare this to Binding of Isaac. I would say that this is a fairly interesting game on its own right.
champion or mini boss. You can also roll out of the way if you get in trouble. I'm able to kill this guy. Done. That's fifty percent experience about it. That's the boss room. I don't want to go there yet. And this is a... Well, heal for up to 20% of total HP after each floor. Shots ricochet, calculates angles useful for scat holding repair. That's 6% dodge. Can't afford that yet. This is one of those rooms. This room usually has a treasure chest or something in the end, like this. I can't afford that thing. Damage up, but I lost 20 health permanently. Let's just buy another juice box. This is probably the most common boss you'll encounter. Oops, ran into him. This is basically, this is how the game works on, the, on a basic level, pretty much. There, there are quite a few different bosses I have encountered so far. Frotty the Dragon is probably the easiest one. That was close. Jeez. Now there are three flames. Done, we did it. Have to complete level. The terrible. Here yeah, the dragon thing is still alive. Oh god, that was terrible. And uh, for the next one you can basically choose where to go, which is interesting. The staircase ahead leads to a classroom floor. This space is represent the heart of Edgewood's mission. 
which is to instill the students with the values and skills to avoid the mistakes of their predecessors. Recent events have supposedly compromised the quality of a small number of classrooms with complaints concerning the integrity of the walls and chalkboards. But the rooms are still more than sufficient to serve their educational purposes. The steps are littered with rags and scraps of paper, signs of a broken encamp encampment. Chunks of the banister are missing and someone's been prying up the nails from the floor. Hunger and desperation have driven these students to hunt in packs with improvised weapons. Stay away from the shadows and you'll be fine. We assure you that these are some of the friendliest students at Edgewood. Light doesn't travel very far on this floor, at least none of you will have to look at each other. This is a good environment for learning. <laughs> Underlit. So, uh, different rooms have different characteristics. The Dog's Kitchens. The staircase ahead leads to a kitchen floor. These represent the social center of the house where students gather together to cook and serve each other food. Whether tossing knives to each other to set the table on... ...or balancing a cauldron of boiling stew, they approach their tasks with an anxious energy. Shirkers are encouraged to... Uh, join in by their peers, as none want to risk time in one of these uh, the ice boxes. The kitchens, perhaps more than any other area, represent the triumph of, for Edgewood's values. The steps are littered with rags and scraps of paper. Signs of a broken encampment. Chunks of the banister are missing, and someone's been trying. Yeah. All right. Let's go with the kitchen. Oh, we also leveled up. Why get out of the way when you can give up and curl up into a ball? Enemies are 50. One thing drops some garbage, another picks up some gar garbage. Boring. The things that the monsters carried one flew under the ranged attack. Let's take this one. I haven't seen this one before. So these blocks I can use to kill the enemies easier. Hmm, that didn't work. Well then, we did it. That's the boss room already. Leveled up again, plus 15 life. Hmm, plus 10% attack speed. The bit fake and generally low some, just like the choose we served them. Great expectations of choose boxes. And call of the wild furn furniture. A better child would treat their home with more respect. I take the life. I want to get that. There's so much fire around here. Max crit chance broken after taking 80 damage. I like the animations. OP at the moment, and I'm getting items I have never seen before, which is great.
But I also see massive rooms which I haven't seen before. Plus one chart. 20% chance of not consuming shark on use. Nice. Mm, I have four only. The bully now deal over 400 damage with the basic attack on an enemy. Nice. Therefore, send not for whom he grows for day and all spots. Seriously, another talent show? That was beautiful, Natasha. Next up is Frankel, who's written. Etc. <laughs> well, they're bored. So, might as well. I guess we will go and fight. Oh, hi. This is what you have to use to basically protect yourself. I was too late. Dish best served gold. Finished such the enemy with something. Another D. Ah. Uh. Oh. The lights are broken on this floor. The edge wood, egalitarian dispensary devices are frightened and providing discounts. Threatening drawings on the landing above look rather recent as due to the poorly spelled messages carved into the steps. Are those shards of bones scattered across the wood? No, surely not. Despite the reputation, we are sure that you'll find the wound wards gentle and generous hosts, providing that they don't hear, see or smell you. You notice the walls are covered with campaign posters, it seems there are a lot of potential leaders up ahead. Elections tend to drive up prices. Power struggle. Let's take this one. Because at least I can see. Oh damn.
They're not very good at dodging Gario. Waiting is an easy chore, stop complaining, the jungle gem. Zen and the art of pummeling. Let's take more life. T-A-T-O. Is that it? E? Wrong, you should have stopped. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm getting him quite easily. When you slow down, slows down time, cars rapid raging miss up. Nice. that guy I wonder who that guy was six choose boxes now slow time temporarily I can't use... I haven't uh, gotten uh, many tokens this run. Oh, damn! Enemy deaths may spawn a friendly pet. Further complaints about Hello Day decorations will not be tolerated. Interesting. Again, this guy. Basically, if you want to hit them, uh, then you have to hit to where the, uh, their shadow is nice that pet killed him oh damn oh That pet dealt so much damage.
Nice. Plus one shot when not moving. This doesn't even remotely resemble a snake. Double hits. No, don't come near me, fire. That's the boss, alright. Let's go and buy some... Um, or, uh, let's buy a few juice boxes. Or at least one. And use it right away. Because we are not um, maxed anyway. God, it's this guy. I might die here. did it. Oh god, what's this? The Woundward Fortress. The, 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 the staircase ahead leads to a dormitory room floor. Edgewood is a, a home as well as a school. While the accommodations may seem spartan, each student has abundant space to rest and socialize. Much ado has been made about furniture rearranging itself in the night. Tumps and hisses emanating from closets, spectral hands creeping across the floor and so on. Such stories are a testament to the charming though somewhat derivative imaginations of our students. The threatening drawings on the landing above look rather recent as do the poorly spelled messages carved into the steps. Are those shards of bone sh scattered across the wood? No, surely not. Despite the reputation, we are sure that you'll find the wound words gentle and generous hosts, providing that they don't hear seers when you. A pair of huge feet has left deep indentations in the step, and you note that someone has casually ripped the stone banister from its moorings. There is the little doubt that which classmates lives on this floor. Which classmate? Oh, so it's one of them. Okay. Oh god. And I died. <laughs> oh well. Damage dealt 45.5k. We have perished in the holes of Edgewood. Aww. Oh. Did I unlock something? Nope. Well, I did get new items at least. They have never won yet. 
Let's see 25 credits. Let's see what happens. A lifeless scarecrow sits expectantly at the counselor's desk. Its impassive gaze offers little in terms of actual guidance. Let's leave 50, why not? The credits vanished in a flash of light, starting juice box inventory increased. Additional juice box capacity, oh. Nice. So I guess next time uh, we will have a tiny advantage. Well done.